When it goes to box office bombs, there are some films that fail because of certain reasons, and some that fail for a reason. In Osmosis Jones' case, it's for an interesting reason. To remind you, the film was going to be released around early 2001, but then it had to be delayed to around summer of 2001. Those reasons being that when they showed off the film to the rating boards, they gave it a PG-13 rating due to boiling humors and crude language, which led Warner Bros. having to cut a lot of scenes from the film in order to make it more family-oriented. And there were many scenes that didn't make the cut in the film. Hello, it's Zebra here, talking like usual, and today I'm going to be talking about the lost and deleted scenes of Osmosis Jones. Because A, I honestly don't know, B, I find this stuff interesting, and C, a lot of you guys liked my Osmosis Jones Iceberg video. Also, at the same time, before we start, I know that a lot of you guys that watch my videos aren't subscribed. If you want to see more interesting content like this without missing any of it, subscribe to the channel. It's free, and most importantly, if you click that bell icon, you'll be notified every single time that I make a video of just me talking about something interesting. This isn't going to be about the 1998 first draft of the movie. Instead, it's going to be about the scenes that were cut from the final version of the film, not the 1998 version. It's worth noting that so many scenes in the film have been found thanks to the DVD version having deleted scenes as a bonus. A few scenes that are rumored to be in the film thanks to several early interviews of the film when they were reviewing it. Not all the way, let's just start talking about the film and its many deleted scenes. The first scene we'll be talking about is the cut Sea World scene. The scene would have played out that basically Ozzy and Drix would have traveled to the Eye, where it would have been a place known as Sea World, which basically is just the Eye, but like, they can see the perspective of Frank. Then we would have that dialogue where Drix reminds Ozzy that he has a schedule and stuff, which this is still in the final film, but they just changed the area to being somewhere else in the body. The second thing that's worth noting is that Ozzy ends up saying somewhat of like a comedic line where he tells Drix to get his butt out of the car, and then Drix comedically responds with saying, I I'll have a butt before getting out of the vehicle, where in the final film, Ozzy just tells Drix to stay in the car. So the extended version of this scene where they would have been to SeaWorld, Drix would have been constantly reminding Ozzy that they have a schedule, and Ozzy would have showed him why they do their job. In this case, they would have just seen the perspective of Frank, since he was looking at a mirror, while Ozzy talks to him about some ding. Also, Drix literally having to remind Ozzy that he has a schedule. Which then cuts to Ozzy going to the donut place where he does the phone call. This scene is still in the film, but with a few alterations. That being that, in the final version of the film, when the little tiny gerb ding breaks, Drix shoves part of it in his mouth and just pretends to stay quiet when Ozzy asks him a question. As in the original version, Drix would have just sat there kind of annoyed, while he kind of responded to Ozzy in kind of an annoyed tone. Sadly, the scene was cut, but it was sort of unfinished. There are still remains of it in the final film, like there being several cells wearing little tiny hats from the place. When they head to the stomach, you can see uh, advertisements for it, and also in Osmosis Jones and Mysterious Rash Outbreak, SeaWorld is actually an area they can actually visit in the game. Now it's time for the second scene that was sadly cut from this film. Probably for some good and bad reasons. The second scene would have been an extended part of the nose sequence. Basically, during the damn sequence of the film, there was meant to be a more extended version of the scene where Ozzy and them would have got stuck inside of a booger hanging out of Frank's nose, which would have led to it being possibly a mix between live action and animation with a bit of CGI in it. I'm not sure how this scene would have worked out, but there is constant part of it, from the early and promo version. During this part, Ozzy and Drix would be start arguing about who caused what and what caused what, before Ozzy quickly got out of there and start telling Drix to quickly get out of there. As it turns out that Frank is about to pick his nose, causing Drix to almost get stuck on his finger before Ozzy stretches his arm out and takes him out of there. It's worth noting that the 1998 version has a scene similar to this, but I'll probably talk about that another day. Afterwards, they basically climb onto the nose hairs, trying to escape, and then the scene plays out normal like how it did in the final film. It was also one of the unfinished and deleted scenes from the film. And now for the third scene of the film. This one being the extended Thrax chase scene. This scene kind of plays out the same, like normal, but except there's a few weird differences, like for example, they kind of swap some of the scenes, like the part where we see Thrax glide. They play that, like, before they show Ozzy and Drix driving the car. It's kind of odd, but if you've watched the film, you'll notice that it's kind of an odd chain. The thing that's worth noting is that during the scene when they mentioned he's going to the uvula, Ozzy actually would have said, What the hell is a uvula? What the hell is a uvula? What the heck is a uvula? This was changed in the final film to Ozzy saying, What the heck is a uvula? So the sixth minute version of the scene was actually going to show how they're able to actually uh, beat Thrax to getting to the uvula first before he did. 
they basically would have went to the heartburn section. In this case, it's more of, uh, they have to literally, like, risk their lives. It's kind of like a 50-50 of them making it there and not making it there. Which then, in this case, they cause Frank to have heartburn, causing them to be launched up into the air to the uvula. So remember how I mentioned how there was meant to be scenes in the lost PG-13 version of the film that never happened? Well yeah, now we're heading to that dodgy territory. These scenes are actually lost, and there has been no footage or no screenshots of them that have been found. But the only evidence of their existence are various articles talking about the film when it was announced and was about to be released. So we'll quickly talk about those two. The first scene, which some fans do know about, is that originally in the film, they would have been a scene where they would have hinted the testicles at the body, and where they would have went to a place called Gornard's Gym, where they would have met an exercising sperm cell. And this scene was cut from the final version of the film in order to make it more family-oriented. Like, in one scene, you see Drix carry a bag that's actually from Gornard's Gym that he may or may not have gotten from there. It's unknown how he got it. And the other thing is that there's actually a sperm cell that can't be seen in the Osmosis Jones Mysterious Rash Outbreak game. For the last scene that was rumored to be in this PG-13 version, would have been a scene where Mayor Fleming would have confronted all his wrongdoings to the city of Frank and would have actually given his position to Mayor to Tom, who was the person that was, he was competing against for the election. And apparently this scene was cut in order to make the runtime shorter, which sadly does suck because this scene would have perfectly fixed one detail in the story, since at the end of the film we just see Fleming in the bowels cleaning, and we don't know how he got there. Most people just assume he lost the election. But hearing about this scene that apparently he would have confronted all the wrongdoings and like him being a lazy mare and like not actually caring about what's going on, would have felt a perfect way to literally just continue his character's story. And give us an exclamation about what literally just happened in the film. And secondly, Tom only has like several scenes in the film, maybe like two or four scenes in the film, and that's it. He has like a really small role in, in, in the film, even though he's supposed to have a big role in the story. One thing I do want to talk about is that there actually was an early draft idea for the film, where they would make it where Ozzy would have a flashback to him as a child, where his family would have had a reunion. And Frank would have gotten a blood test, causing all of it to be sucked out of the body while Ozzy's all alone as a child, which this would have added more to his character. And in a really strange twist, his family would have returned after they added the blood to Frank, but this idea was scrapped for the story. It's worth noting that the film's runtime is 1 hour and 35 minutes, and these extra deleted scenes that have been found would clock it around either 1 hour and 37 or 1 hour and 40 minutes. So it does bring you a lot of questions about how long the film was originally meant to be, or in this case, how many scenes were originally meant to be in this version of the film. Since 1998 version, to remind you, that one was going to be a whole different take from the story, and it was going to be far more edgy, far more dark, and had a few adult themes in the story. And a lot of swearing. Speaking of the swearing, when I literally just noticed that them censoring Ozzy saying what the heck could possibly be similar to Hell with the Iron Giant in the theatrical release, they censored dumb cursing with dumb saying heck, and in the signature cut, they uh, curse. So this makes me think if the PG-13 version, they would have cursed far more, and they would have just censored it like they did with the Iron Giant. But we probably won't know since Warner Bros. has not released this full PG-13 cut of film. Despite the film coming out almost 22 years ago, Warner Bros. hasn't released any exclusive versions of the film, or haven't released the full PG-13 version of HBO Max. But just, please Warner Bros., release the full PG-13 cut of the film. Especially the fact that there's a huge fan base for the film. When well, I mean huge, I mean somewhat small. But still, this would have at least fixed several plot holes in the story. Come on, Warner Bros. Just release the PG-13 cut. But what do you guys think? Thank you.